hello and welcome in today's tutorial video i'm going to be showing you how to create animations using d5 render now for us to start all we need to do is to open our d5 software we double click on it for it to open we come to recent to select any of our recent project that we just concluded on so let's click on this we double click on it for it to open it takes a little bit time to open so we just have to be patient enough for it to to open okay so there we have it this is a project that i have already rendered on d5 so i'm just going to show you how to create animations using this project okay so the first thing we need to do is to view our scenes so this is our scene one and you can see here this is our scene two so what we need to do is to come under this button right here video you can see it on this button you click on video and you are in your animation phase for you to start creating your animation clips now the first thing we need to do we need to understand the interface we are in so you see this you can see under here templates so these are all templates that d5 have uh, put in place for us to use depending on what we want to create if we don't feel like taking our own shots and taking our own camera angles and movement we can just use the default templates i'll show you what i mean so now let's say this is our clip one we are here we come to our templates now you can see this horizontal pool once we click on this what it does for us it automatically places uh the template for us here so we can just play it to watch what it would give to us so you can see you can see this is what it gives us this is good now you can also click on this plus sign to add another clip come back to the template and let's say you want horizontal push this time you want it to go in now you click on this now you can see what we have you can see this is good now you also do the same thing for the third one come back to templates and let's say slide left or let's say pan up okay all right then we can see what we have now you can see this is how uh this template helps us to achieve animations but that's all for templates that's not what we'll be using in today's tutorial so let's just create our own i'm going to show you how to create your own if you want so let's delete this okay so let's start clip one now we'll come to our scene one this is our scene one we have here we click on add current view so this is the view we want to start with now make sure you are on fly because it's better to be on fly so you can use your keyboard a s d f uh, how to uh, navigate your way around so now we are on fly then we just have to move forward i want to take a view moving forward so i just click on w good stop then i click on this icon right here which will be the next phase so if you look at it i am starting from here and i am ending at this point you understand now with this i can decide the number of seconds i want to give to this so in total i want to just create a 30 seconds uh, animation uh, which consists of five clips six six seconds per clip so i'm going to give this six okay then let's play it to watch what we have gotten okay so as you can see this is very good now the next thing we need to do we're done with this clip you can also add more if you want let's for example let's say i want to move uh this way so i just move right okay then i also click on this to add it again you understand so once we play it it will go front then once it gets to this point it moves right you understand good so you can add more clips so you can do whatever you want to do on just one clip or you can create multiple clips to do whatever you want to do so it just depends on you but i'm going to be deleting this one i uh, don't really need this other clip okay i don't need this other clip so we're going to minus all right so this is just what i want then the next thing we're going to do we're going to create a new clip so we click on clip two now this is what we have in clip two now let's come to our scene four we want to take a, a different uh scene a, a different view now so we click on scene four four this is what we have we add current view okay now so what we need to do is to use our mouse now we can also use our mouse to like you understand to like rotate move up and down you get and 
we can zoom in if we want with our mouse if this is on fly we can also zoom in as well but it doesn't uh, zoom in to a particular point we want you understand like let's say i want to zoom into this door i'll have to change this to orbit before i can zoom in to that particular place i want let's say zoom into this window i move a get just it, it works like revit but if you're on fly if you are zooming in it's just like you are coming up close you are not going to a particular uh component in your model so that's all let's come back to our view all right so this is our view so what we need to the animation we need to take in this view now let's say we want to take something like this so we have this okay i think this is good then we click on this now let's watch what we have created let's see how it is you click on play and you can see all right this is good now let's make this six seconds as well okay perfect now as we have this point here okay then i also want to do something i want to continue with this now let's say i want to go up a little bit so we click on go up okay then we click this we we'll make this six seconds as well okay so we have a total of 12 in this view so we see what we have we have this to this point then it goes up okay i think this is good then we'll come back to clip 3 now we in clip 3 we we'll come back to our scene 4 if we want to keep making use of scene 4 now the view i want to take we we'll click on add current view okay now i want to zoom into this a uh, small sit out area at this point so i'm just going to change this to orbit then i zoom in to this point like this all right then i just click on this change this to six seconds and let's watch what we have perfect so this is good this is very very good so Aside that, the next one we we'll click on scene new clip. Now this is our clip four. So we come back to this view. Let's say we want to take more shots from this view. Add current view. Okay. Then we move our we move our camera. Let's say we move this way. Okay. Let's make this six seconds okay now let's see what we have perfect so this is good now this is good so i think this is six seconds six seconds six seconds then this is 12 that's a total of 30 seconds so i think that should be all that's where we'll stop in today's tutorial so if you want to uh, once you are done taking your views all you just need to do is to render those views now once you want to render you come to clip one now you can see we're on clip one now you can see the resolution 720p you can see you can change it to 2k 1080p 4k depending on uh, your taste but the difference is that the higher you go in resolution the longer uh, it takes to render the, the longer time it takes to render so but into this this tutorial i'm just going to leave it at uh, let's say 1080p let's just leave it as 1080p once you change it on one clip it automatically changes for all now you can see 1080p you can see 1080p all right so now that's all then you can just hit add to queue add to render queue on clip one it will add to queue you can do the same thing for clip two add to render queue uh same thing for clip three add to render queue same thing for clip four add to render queue so once you're done adding all your uh, clips to queue then you can click on this render queue right here you click on that then you can see all the click and see video 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 these are the first four are the recent most recent ones we added to queue so you just click on them and you hit render you, before you hit render you specify where you want them to be now let's see what where this is okay july okay all right so that's good so cancel then you click on render so it saves your projects for you automatically before starting the render so it takes a lot of time to render but once it's done you will see the final product then you can decide if you want to merge the clips together using um a, a video uh, editing tool or you want to just leave them separately but 
once this once this is done i'm going to show you how to merge those clips together using a video editing tool okay so now that you are done rendering the animation all you just need to do is to close they will still ask you if you want to save the project yes you save it and it closes for you then you open your folder to where you saved uh the animation where the animation was saved i think july okay duplex renders all right i think aha uh -huh. now we can see clip one clip two clip three and clip four so you can open them so this is our clip one you can see how it is you open clip two you see how it is this is clip two okay you open clip three okay this is our clip three then clip four this is our clip four all right now for us to combine all these into uh, a video editing software so i use camtasia for uh, video editing so i'm just going to open camtasia okay and i click on new project okay you just wait for it to load so once you have your camtasia then you can click on import media or you can just open the folder and drag all the medias into this page all right like so all right so you have this then you can just clip one you can put it under this place clip two put it behind it clip three you do the same thing clip four you do the same thing then you play all and you see all the um you see all the clips together so this is our clip one then we enter our clip two we enter clip three and four so we can also add some maybe transitions to it so let's click on this uh let's look for you come under transition sorry come under transition now let's look for a let's say let's look for something that we would like to use okay so let's use this radial blur Let's place this radial blur here so you can see the difference, the transition from this to this. So you see it, radial blur. All right. So this is it. So we can also add the same thing to clip two and clip three. Okay. So now it would have a smooth transition. It won't just be like you are skipping from one image to the other image. Then, aside that, the next thing we're going to be adding uh, is uh a nice audio so i have some audios that i i downloaded so let me go to uh on the youtube folder okay then uh see i think we can use this let's use this audio so we'll come back to our media then we drag this into the into camtasia then we can place the audio just right above it can reduce the the sound then we can just crop it to this point so once you play it then this is what you hear okay okay so once you've added the audio i think that should be all then we can export let's say export local file next 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 and let's save it let's say animation 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 let's save it and you click on finish then you just wait for it to render the video and once the video is done rendering you can now open the animation and see what you have done to see how how it looks and if it is actually to your taste okay so that's all our, our render is done it's complete so we just have to close uh, do you want to save no i don't want to save this let's just leave it okay then we can open the folder where it is saved now you can see animation here then you can play the uh, you can play it so we play the animation okay and this is what we have this is very very nice this is this is okay this is okay so this is how to create uh animations using d5 render if you found this video helpful or interesting please don't forget to hit the subscribe button share this video like this video and don't forget to turn on your notification bell icon so that you don't you get notified when next we publish a new video see you guys on our next video bye